Hello lovelies and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about all the best actress winners from their 20th century and their favorite perfumes. I thought it would be fun since the Oscars are coming right up to go over some of the main actresses and most famous from the 20th century, talk about their nominations and their perfumes as well as showcase their outfits that they wore when they were accepting the Oscars. So let's jump right in. And we're gonna start from oldest to newest. So the first one on the list is Greta Garbo and she was born on September 8th, 1905 and passed away on April 15th, 1990. And she was a Swedish American actress and she is generally regarded as one of the greatest screen actresses of all time. She was known for her somber persona due to her portrayals of tragic characters in her films and understated performances. So Greta Garbo was awarded an honorary Oscar in 1955 for all of her work and previous nominations. And before that, she was nominated five times. So she's a five time Academy Award nominated actress and her favorite perfume is Ballman's Vent Verde. And this one was released in 1947 and it's a floral green fragrance. And the top notes are violet leaf, bergamot, there's neroli, as well as basil, hyacinth, lily of the valley, rose, freesia, jasmine, and geranium. And the base notes are oak moss, sandalwood, and musk. And I really like this perfume. It's super fresh and just very spring-like. And Bridget Bardot also loved this perfume. And next on the list is Betty Davis. And she was born April 5th, 1908 and passed away October 6th, 1989. And she was an American actress and her career spanned more than 50 years with over 100 acting credits. And her roles range in a large variety of film genres, as well as historical films, suspense, horror, and occasional comedies. And she won two Academy Awards. And I'm gonna go down the list from the newest to the oldest. So 1963, she was nominated for Best Actress in a Leading Role for Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. In 1953, she was also nominated for Best Actress for the movie The Star. In 1951, again, she was nominated for All About Eve. In 1945, again, she was nominated for Best Actress for Mr. Skeffington. In 1943, she was nominated again for Now Voyager. And again, in 1942, she was nominated for The Little Foxes. And in 1940, she was nominated for Dark Victory. In 1939, she won an Oscar for Best Actress in Jezebel. And in 1936, she also won an Oscar for Dangerous. And in 1935, she was nominated again for Of Human Bondage. So she was nominated almost every year for a while in the 40s and 30s. So as you can see, she is one of like the top billed actresses of all times in terms of nominations. She loved the perfume Givenchy Lady. And this is a floral musk fragrance and it was launched in 1957 and the top notes are tarragon, coriander, mandarin orange, bergamot, Brazilian rosewood, and middle notes of lily of the valley, lilac, jasmine, ylang ylang, orris root, carnation, and rose, and the base notes are oak moss, musk, sandalwood, and amber. And next on the list is another super famous old Hollywood actress and this is Katherine Hepburn. And she was born May 12th, 1907 and passed away June 29th, 2003. And her career again spanned more than 60 years. And she was known for her headstrong independence and spirited personality. And she received four Academy Awards for Best Actor. And this is a record for any performer. So going from the newest is 1982. She won Best Actress for On Golden Pond. And she was not present at that award. John Voight accepted it for her. In 1969, she won again for Best Actress for The Lion in Winter. And in 1968, she also won an Oscar for Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, and this is Best Actress in a Leading Role. And in 1963, she was nominated for Best Actress in a Leading Role in Long Day's Journey Into Night. And again, she was nominated in 1960 for Suddenly Last Summer, and again in 1957 for The Rainmaker, and again in 1955 she was nominated for The African Queen, 
1943, again, she was nominated for Woman of the Year. 1941, she was nominated for the Philadelphia Story. 1936, she was nominated for Alice Adams. And 1934, she was a winner for Morning Glory. So as you can see, similar to Betty Davis, she has been in so many movies and was nominated so many times. And her favorite perfume is Guerlain of All Day New Wheat. And this is a woody fragrance for woman. It was launched in 1933. And the, nose, and the nose behind this one is Jacques Guerlain. And it has notes of bergamot, orange blossom, lemon, orange, and mandarin orange. Middle notes are iris. Vanilla, violet, Indonesian carnation, rose, and, and jasmine. Base notes are oak moss, orris root, sandalwood, spices, and musk. So when I first started YouTube, I really didn't know how to do any video editing or how to edit photos when I first started my blog. And I was Googling online different classes I could take, and I actually learned everything on Skillshare, and this was a few years ago. So I learned how to use Adobe Lightroom on Skillshare as well as Adobe Premiere Pro, which I used to edit all my videos. And I also took a few courses on Instagram and just YouTube SEO. And it really helped me launch my YouTube channel a few years ago. And it's super affordable. It's only $10 a month to try Skillshare and I have a membership and I always go on there at least a few times a year to like refresh my skills and I'm really excited now because it's the new year and I plan on taking a few new courses as well. There's lots of good marketing courses on there especially since everything's always changing with social media and Instagram. It's good to keep your skills up or if you just want to take a fun creative class like painting or drawing they're all on there. And I like how affordable it is because I know I was looking at some community colleges and the Premier Pro classes there as well as Lightroom, they were upwards of $450 and especially now with COVID, I don't want to be going to a classroom or paying $450 to take this, these courses that aren't even that great where I can take it on Skillshare and it's way cheaper. And the first thousand people to use my link in the description box will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. So make sure you click the link below to join. And there's so many classes on there, so I'm excited to hear from you guys and see what you end up taking. Next on the list is Barbara Stanwyck, and she was born on July 16th, 1907, and passed away January 20th, 1990. Again, she was an American actress. And she also had a long career spanning 60 years and a very versatile career. And in 1982, she won an honorary Oscar for her career in the art of screen acting. In 1949, she was nominated for Best Actress in a Leading Role for Sorry, Wrong Number. In 1945, she was nominated for Best Actress in Double Indemnity. I love that movie. In 1942, she was nominated for Ball of Fire. And in 1938, she was nominated for Stella Dallas. And her favorite perfume is Jungle Gardenia. This is an amber floral fragrance. And it was launched in 1933, and it has notes of green, bitter orange, clary sage, gardenia, tuberose, heliotrope, a violet leaf, a lily of the valley, jasmine, ylang ylang, oak moss, benzoin, sandalwood, and musk. And next on the list is Olivia de Havilland. And she was born on July 1st, 1916, and passed away recently last year on July 26, 2020. And she was a British-American actress. And her career spanned from 1935 to 1988. She appeared in 49 feature films and was one of the leading actors of her time. And she is the oldest living and earliest surviving Academy Award winning actress until her death in 2020 and her sister was the actress Joan Fontaine. So in 1950, she was a winner for the Heiress, and then again in 1949, she was nominated for the Snake Pit, and in 1947, she was the winner for To Each His Own. In 1942, she was nominated for Hold Back the Dawn, and in 1940, she was also nominated for Gone with the Wind. And her favorite perfume was Ball uh, for Size. And this one is an amber fragrance that came out in 1962. And it has Bulgarian rose, rose, orange blossom, jasmine, neroli, rosemary, bergamot, mandarin, orange, lemon, leather, sandalwood, ylang ylang, lilac, lily of the valley, 
vanilla, musk, and cedar. So it's a really unique fragrance. I really like how it settles. At first I didn't like it, but once I sprayed and let it settle for a while, it was really nice. And next on the list is Vivian Lee, and she was born on November 5th, 1913, and passed away July 8th, 1967. And she was a British stage and film actress, and she won the Academy Award for Best Actress twice, and she won for Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind in 1939, and then again for playing Blanche in this film, A Streetcar Named Desire, in 1951. And she loved the perfume Joy by Jean Patou. And this is a floral fragrance launched in 1930, and it has notes of Bulgarian rose, ylang ylang, tuberose, may rose, musk, and sandalwood. And next on the list is Ingrid Bergman, and she was born August 29th, 1915, and passed away August 29th, 1982. That's weird, she passed away the same day she was born. And she's a Swedish actress who starred in a variety of European and American films. And her career spanned five decades, and she's often regarded as one of the most influential screen figures in cinematic history. So she was nominated in 1979 for an Oscar. And in 1975, she was the winner for Murder on the Orient Express. And then again, in 1957, she won for Anastasia. In 1949, she was nominated for Joan of Arc. 1946, she was nominated for The Bells of St. Mary's. And she won again in 1945 for Gaslight. 1944, she was nominated for Whom the Bell Tolls. So as you can see, she was nominated many times. And she loved the perfume Miss Stucco by Guerlain. And this one came out in 1919, so it's an older perfume. And it has notes of bergamot, citrus, jasmine, and rose, middle notes of peach, ylang ylang, and jasmine, rose, lilac. And the base notes are oak moss, spices, cinnamon, vevedir, and amber. And next is Joan Crawford. And her actual year of birth is still kind of unknown, but it's er like around 1903 to 1905. And she was born March 23rd, passed away May 10th, 1977. And she began her acting career in 1925 when she signed with MGM. And her career spent six decades with multiple studios and controversies. She was nominated in 1953 for Sudden Fear, again in 1948 for Possessed, and she was a winner in 1946 for Mildred Pierce, and she was actually not present at the Academy Awards the night she won because she was sick, and her favorite perfumes are Estee Lauder Youth Do, which was launched in 1953, and it's a very spicy fragrance with notes of lavender orange, narcissus, peach bergamot, Clove, cinnamon, rose, ylang ylang, jasmine, lily of the valley, as well as base notes of amber, vanilla, and musk. And again, I've always wanted to like this fragrance. It does settle better, but when I first smell it, it does smell a little bit strong. So I think it just depends on the person. And she actually also wore Jungle Gardenia. And this one's from 1933, so this was a very popular perfume in old Hollywood. And next on the list is Audrey Hepburn, who was born May 4th, 1929. Passed away January 20th, 1933, and she was considered one of the greatest actresses of all time from the golden age of Hollywood. And she was nominated in 1968 for Wait Until Dark, and then she was nominated again in 1962 for Breakfast at Tiffany's, and again in 1960 for The Nun Story, and then she was nominated in 1955 for Sabrina. And she won in 1954 for a Roman Holiday. And she loved the Givenchy perfume Le Terre which was launched in 1957. And it means French for forbidden. It's a floral fragrance with a powdery aroma with notes of rose, jasmine, and violet, as well as woods and grasses. And I love this perfume. I think it just really settles with my body chemistry. It's just one of my favorites. I just love it. It's kind of modern at the same time. And this one was created for Audrey Hepburn. And she wore it for a year before it was released to the public. And she became the face of the perfume as well. And again, I have the couture version. And just, it smells so good. I'm wearing it now. I just love it. And it does kind of have a really nice powdery finish to it, but not in a bad way. And next on the list is Grace Kelly. She was born in November 12th, 1929, and passed away September 14th, 1982. And her career wasn't very long after she became the Princess of Monaco. And she won the Academy Award in 1955 for The Country Girl. She was nominated in 1954 for Mogambo. 
And she was also known for starring in many Alfred Hitchcock movies, like Rear Window, and her favorite perfume was Creed Florissimo. And this one was actually created for her as well. It was launched in 1956, and the nose behind the fragrance is James Henry Creed, and the top notes are bergamot, middle notes, tuberose, and violet iris, Bulgarian rose. I really like this one. It's super fresh, floral. It's just really pretty. It just reminds me of when, I, if I think of Grace Kelly, it's something she would wear. And next on the list is Elizabeth Taylor, and she was born February 27th, 1932, passed away March 23rd, 2011, and she's an English-American actress. And her career started as a child in the 1940s, and she's considered one of the most popular old Hollywood stars. And she won in 1967 for Best Actress in the film Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, and she was not present at that award. And she won again in 1961 for the film Butterfield 8, she was nominated in 1960 for the film Suddenly Last Summer. In 1959, she was nominated for Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. In 1958, she was nominated for Rain Tree County. And she loved the perfume Jungle Gardenia. Again, this is a super popular old Hollywood perfume, launched in 1933. And she also loved Belle à Versailles, which was launched in 1962. Again, another old Hollywood favorite. And she also wore her own perfume, White Diamonds, which is one of my favorite perfumes. I have her whole collection, and I find that it settles really nice. It's just such a pretty fragrance. It's one of my favorites. Next on the list is Sophia Loren. She was born in September 20th, 1934, and she's an Italian actress. And she is also the last surviving stars from the golden age of Hollywood. And she won an honorary Oscar in 1999 for her career. And she was nominated in 1965. And in 1962, she won Best Actress in a Leading Role. And her favorite perfume is Creed Irisia. And this one is a floral fragrance launched in 1968 with notes of bergamot, a mandarin orange, peach mimosa as well as middle notes of iris, violet, and tuberose, base notes of oak moss, amber, and patchouli. And next on the list is Julie Andrews, and she was born October 1st, 1935. And she's an English actress. She was nominated in 1983 for Victor Victoria. She was also nominated in 1966 for The Sound of Music, and she won in 1965 for Mary Poppins. And she loved the perfume Carnet de Belle, and this is a floral fragrance launched in 1937. It has notes of citrus, fruity notes, rose, ylang ylang, jasmine, and lily of the valley. And next is Jane Fonda. She was born December 21st, 1937. And she's an American actress. And she was nominated in 1987 for The Morning After, 1982 on Golden Pond, 1980, The China Syndrome. She won in 1979 for Coming Home. She was nominated in 1978 for Julia, and she won again in 1972 for Clute. In 1970, she was nominated again for They Shoot Horses, Don't They? And she loved the perfume Calvin Klein Obsession, which is kind of interesting. I guess this is more of a unisex perfume, and it came out in 1985 as notes of vanilla, bergamot, mandarin orange, green notes, peach, lemon sandalwood, oak moss, orange blossom, vanilla, musk. So when I did, look at all the notes, it does sound really nice. I haven't smelled this perfume in a while, so let me know if you like that one. And lastly is Faye Dunaway. She was born January 14th, 1941, and she won in 1977 for Best Actress in the Network, and she was nominated in 1975 for Chinatown, was nominated again for Bonnie and Clyde, and she loved Giorgio Armani Aqua di Gio. And she also loved the perfume Norwell, Norwell by Norwell, which is another floral fragrance, launched in 1968. And this one has lavender, niacinth, bergamot, lemon, and mandarin, ylang ylang, and a cinnamon. So that one smells really nice as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've seen any of these movies. What is your favorite best actress from the 20th century? And if you're excited to watch the Oscars this year, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Follow me on Instagram, Dahlia's in the Attic. 
and I also have a YouTube membership and with this membership you get one bonus behind the scenes monthly vlog and you also get a monthly live stream it's like a Q&A with me I do vintage unboxings it's super fun we just hang out and chat and you get 20% off Vintage Doll Cosmetics, my vintage inspired beauty brand, as well as a vintage inspired mirror with your first purchase. And this is located right next to the subscribe button. You'll see a join button. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.